I couldn't find any, I'm afraid, just the glasses. And it's lovely, to, isn't she lovely? <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to be here. Hello. <laughs> Hiya. How are you all? all right. Good, good. <laughs> and that's Keith. Yes. We, we, we met. met. Have you met? <laughs> it's OK. A, it's a, Sit where you are, love. All right. <laughs> Don't be moving any cushions. Did you notice how, how much near here she moved up? <laughs> no, he's easy. Oh, uh, stay where you are. All right. You can sit on here for <laughs> one minute. <laughs> but Melinda, you have had, we're all very excited, breast implants, I have you? indeed, yes. yes. And am I, am I right in thinking both right and left? Uh, <laughs> you know, I thought I could start a new trend just going for the ones, but I don't know what the hell I have a matching pair. You've had them both. I've had them both done. What, what was it like before? Um... Well, actually, I mean, it's, it was a bit of a waste of money, really, because there wasn't an awful lot of difference, in actual fact. I sort of they went up two like... cup sizes, so... Did you? I did. It's a lot, though, isn't it, in this day and age? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it is. With, before, were they, like, two fried... I'm trying to keep it filled on and take it for Keith. He's lost interest now, the wine's <laughs> No, I suppose they sort of went from oranges to melons, really. I suppose is the oh, only way. <laughs> what, does it, what do they feel like? They feel great, actually. They feel, they feel quite normal. I mean, they I feel like they're yours. They do. They do. Bernard, Bernard, there. He was. He doesn't want to feel them, does he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wondering, wondering if they felt like your own, do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, they do, they do, cause, because what they actually do, believe it or not, and like, I'll, you know, I'll try not to be too graphic here. Oh, but they, yes, graphic, it's right. Tony, Tony Floyd, <laughs> <laughs> he's bonkers. <laughs> They actually put the silicone underneath your own boobs, so your own boobs on top of it. So everything that's on top is actually your own, and then of course the silicone implants underneath oh, it. So if you feel it, then it obviously it feels like your own boob. <laughs> Honestly. Well, do you know, do you know Dorothy there? <laughs> Dorothy was going to have them done, and then the doctor said there wasn't enough silicone in the world to have them done. <laughs> do you know what I mean? that doesn't need it, it's Dorothy. Dorothy, yeah. but, uh, but, do you know, my son Malcolm? Yes. Well, he's got one, he'll call me this. And do you know something? He's had it laminated. <laughs> no, so it's, really? it's wiped clean. Oh, right, so you can write on it? Well, that's how much he loves you, Melinda. But you must, you must think we've got you on, you know, you must think. We've got you on to talk about things like this. You're more than a pair of bosoms. Because you won... <laughs> no, you won Rear of the Year last year, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> and one of my finest accolades so far, apart from passing my cycling proficiency test at the age of 13. But you won Rear of the Year. <laughs> I did. Was it good? It was, yes, it was a big honour. <laughs> you see Enid? There's Enid there. Well, Enid came second in the Rear of the Year. <laughs> did she really? Yeah, but in Wigan. <laughs> Oh, and right. you know, it was very, very sad. Do you know what beat her? The number 12 bus. Pete, <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at you over there. I was having a ball. Do you like, do you like, do you like ladies' bosoms? That's what we're talking about. Do you like ladies' bosoms? I, I think it's brilliant, of course. <laughs> I, I was only smashed off the tit at the age of 35, for goodness sake, you know. What did he do? <laughs> Did that you miss said, me too? I lost that. What you did you said, do? You said, do I like ladies' bosoms? And I said, yes, I wasn't smashed off the tit until I was 35. <laughs> Lovely, the first half he hadn't had a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Melinda. 
Linda. Yeah, I'm so yeah. sorry. But of course, you know, how did you break into modelling? Um, well, sort of by accident, really, because I, I got approached by a local modelling agency who asked me to do um, a double glazing ad for them, which I did. And uh, then, of course, the sun picked up on it, and uh, the rest, is, they say, is history. <laughs> Who would have thought double glazing would be so popular? <laughs> oh, no. I was only stood in front of that pane of glass in my underwear. I mean, I didn't think it would attract that much attention. <laughs> Please. That's the sort of thing you do all the time. <laughs> I, I couldn't pose topless. Would you pose topless, Anne? Say for a, a study on, a study on gravity. Yeah. I might have done, you never know. <laughs> Where is you? that bad, actually? Beverly Goodway, who's the p photographer of the sun, he is just, I mean, he's like one Beverly? of the gentlemen. Beverly, yeah, he's man. the man. And he's just like one, any one of the gentlemen in That's here. That's London for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. But did you know that everyone in the world will see them? <laughs> well, I, I, the thought did cross my mind, but I thought, well, the hell, nobody knows me, it won't matter. So what, what's your boyfriend? You've got a steady boyfriend. I have, yes. yes. What so does he make of it all? Um, well, he's, he's chuffed, he's really happy, because he gave up work, and he sort of travels around with me, and uh, when, so he's when, having a whale of a time. When you had them implants, I mean, did you tell him? Or I did. did. come home from work one night with a lovely surprise. <laughs> Sheets. I've got another surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's he up to? <laughs> I have to say he was delighted. What's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> How does your boyfriend feel about all the, you know, attention you must get? How does he feel about that? Uh, he doesn't mind it at all, honestly. He doesn't mind it at all. Because, of course, he's got, uh, you know, he's given up work, got a nice house, nice car, gets to travel all over the world with me, so he's over the moon. But do you think he's just saying that sometimes of a night in your ear, does he go pop him, pop him, pop him? <laughs> No, he likes them. The He's springs have completely out. gone in mine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're completely gone. Oh, so there's always the wonder bra, isn't there? <laughs> oh, not at my age, love. <laughs> <laughs> or is that the miracle bra? <laughs> the menopause bra. <laughs> you all right, Keith? Um, yes, you carry on. <laughs> scared of him, are you? No, oh, no. Not at all. No. We used to do train spotting together years ago. <laughs> we did in your head, in your head. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you cook for Melinda? What would I? Cook. <laughs> I said cook. <laughs> cook. No, I think, I mean, boobs, big boobs. <laughs> A huge pot of caviar. Yes. Some freshly squeezed lime juice. <laughs> Possibly a little soured cream. You wouldn't need plates in this particular dinner <laughs> party. Mm, I'm sorry, that Melinda. Just very I'm tough. sorry, Melinda. He's completely <laughs> off his head. <laughs> that wine's gone straight to his head. But you, you have just, if anybody's been watching the telly, you've just been doing chat showing yourself. You've been, I have indeed. You've been, been a chat Jack. show presenter. I have indeed, yes. Nowhere near as good as your standard, though, I have to say, Mr. Dem. It, it, what, what show was it? It was Jack Doherty, so I was standing in for Jack while, whilst he was away uh, on, with his wife and kids. Where, on where? On Channel 5. You see, Channel 5, Anne. <laughs> That's the one, it's always snowing. <laughs> Nobody's seen you, love. Oh, oh well, that's all right then. That's probably a blessing in disguise, was it, was actually. It good? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I liked it, enjoyed it, I had a lot of fun. This is a little tip for okay, you. Okay, thank you. Okay, a little tip that at the beginning, go for the big guest. Just go for the big, big guest. And then when it gets to before the show, you know, you know, have anyone. <laughs> anyone that will come on. Well, you didn't mind me ringing yesterday, did you? <laughs> Absolutely delighted. Delighted. I've let him smoke before. You wouldn't smoke on Parky, would you? Take you your shoes off, Melinda. Oh, Melinda, no. take your it top off. <laughs>
you know element I would, over but there. I've got, you know. <laughs> my underwear's not matching today, so otherwise oh, I would have done. they're not bothered about your <laughs> no. underwear. No. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you know, there's a lot of chat show wars on at the moment. I mean, to be quite honest, I had to wrestle Clive Anderson for Keith. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> <laughs> but Parky, bloody Parky. He's getting them all, isn't he? No, Parky has nabbed all the best guests now. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying you two aren't great. <laughs> I mean, we'll stretch this out to half an hour if it kills us. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, what you I'm know, saying? Vegas can't be choosers. The Vegas can't <laughs> be choosers. <laughs> well, what I do is this is a tip of Parky. Mm. I bring the first guest on, right, and then I bring the second guest on, but I keep the first guest on, you see, ah. and then if the second guest is not much cock, I can you go can back it, yes. to the first guest. Good thinking, good thinking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but see, Melinda, I'm not. I'm talking to you. I I'm leaving him over there. He's had the wine from the wigging with me. You know what I'm saying? Do you like fame, Keith? No. Do you not? No. Why? I mean, for me as a cook, it's very irritating. Every Christmas, the papers phone up, magazines phone up, what can we do with the leftover turkey? I every year release and say, <laughs> throw it in the friggin' dustbin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Any questions from Melinda oh. Messenger? What would you like to say, Sylvia? Yeah, it's not for me, it's for my son John. He told me to ask you, okay. what was you doing Saturday night? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're lovely looking. Oh, I'm thanks. not being funny, but if you look at you and you look at all of our members of our audience, <laughs> <laughs> bar me, bar me. <laughs> yeah, but then I've spent an hour putting my feet in. in. <laughs> Do you isn't it always many tonight? <laughs> isn't it? You know, it's all the biggies, Keith, the recipes. Do you think designer underwear makes you look more desirable? Not yeah, you, look. Oh. Any other questions <laughs> from Melinda? <laughs> <laughs> Any questions from Melinda? <laughs> what about Jimmy at the back? Jimmy, what would you like to ask Melinda? The Queen Mum's just had uh, two new plastic hips. Do you ever worry about what you've just had done? Do you think, like, when you get to her age, that... Everybody else's will be like, you know, sort of going south and yours will still No, be. mine will still be looking great, but hopefully mine will be under guarantee, so, you know, I can get them changed, maybe. <laughs> you know. Are they guarantee? Well, you know, I took out the extra care that you get, you know. Sort of. Yeah, you should have done that with your restaurant. Some <laughs> <laughs> big tips from the front of my restaurant wouldn't have saved it. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Keith Lloyd and Melinda Messenger. Oh, thank you. <laughs> to take away with you tonight life can be great whichever one you are whether you're a chef or a big breasted lady <laughs> Another cosy little chat with Mrs Merton next Thursday at 10.20 on BBC One. And two new series begin tomorrow night on BBC Two. It's the return of Nevermind the Buzzcocks at 9.30, and then they're playing politicians in a brand new quiz, If I Ruled the World, at 10. <laughs>